guys, I wanted to insert this into the video. I didn't talk about iMessage too much, but it's iMessage. I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm trying to make sure I cover everything. It's almost impossible to cover every single thing about a phone. But iMessage is iMessage. One thing I do like that Apple finally implemented is the ability to message with um, RCS messaging. So videos between, and I'll do a separate short or real, uh, whatever I decide to do, you know, showing you guys how to do that. But you can now go, and I'm not going into it, just not to blast anybody or show anybody. Maybe I can find one of those little unnecessary messages. Everybody still wishing me happy birthday. I'll go to this little Samsung text, no harm, no foul on that. But anyway, if you go to you know, type up something. You can see it pop up on the other phone, vice versa. You can see it here. You'll be able to get real receipts from Android. You'll be able to send high quality photos with, and especially videos without it being like super short inside of that little blurry box on Android. So that's what I can appreciate. So if you're texting your Android friends now, don't worry. Like if you still grip the green bubble, then I guess you just color stroke or something. If you too insecure about, I don't know, feel like you elite because of a blue bubble, then have edit. But outside of that, now I'm going to finish ending the video. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Jeremiah here from J&J Tech Solutions. And you see the title. Today's video is going to be Things That Matter with the iPhone 16 Pro Max. Now, I'm going to go through this again. Anybody who knows these type of videos, I go through explaining things that matter in my opinion and just straight up real stuff. And the first thing I want to touch on with this 16 Pro Max, I'm not going to beat the phone up today, but it's like, why are people so excited? And this isn't a, a, a Apple rant or this to iPhones or anything like that. Just stay tuned. I promise you, you're going to see what I mean. And even the Apple people can understand this. But my thing is, like, when the phones first come out, especially these iPhones, it's like a, a type of height to where businesses open early. Um, it's super crowded. They sell out, like, number one in the country, some in other countries as well. And I'm just like, why? Every single year, it's almost the exact same phone. And people understand this at this point. This, this is, again... It works for Apple. It just works for them only. But this has been the same type of phone since roughly the 11 Pro Max at this point. They have just changed out the battery size, changed out the squareness, and improved the cameras. Of course, that's their main bread and butter is allegedly cameras. Now they've entered this, and just bear with me for a second. They've entered this AI world, and again, let's talk about the elephant in the room. The AI isn't available up on the launch of the phone. Like, there's no super smart Siri. There's no, you know, intuitive AI features to make my personal life easier. There's none of that on this phone. This is basically a, a bigger screen, 15 Pro Max, if you will. That's why a lot of times I often tell people not to upgrade every year. I do that because I'm a tech enthusiast. I kind of play with these phones. Sometimes I end up selling them back. Sometimes I end up loot, taking a loss. But again... That's me. Everybody can't do that. So hear my voice when I tell you if you got a 14 Pro Max, 15 Pro Max, you're going to get a better camera. Cool. But it's like at this point of photos, most top tier flagships between the $800 to $1,100 range are going to be top tier. Slightly different uh, production of colors. Like one might be more of a cool tone. One might be more of a warm tone. One might be more viral, one might be more real to life. It's your pick, your, you know, your per, your preference, if you will. But again, the difference between the cameras, minimal. Difference between the battery, minimal. Difference between the <laughs> everything, minimal. But that's the iPhone for you. This is every year. This is nothing you. But let's get into it still. <laughs> At the end of the day, this is a really, really good phone. And it's hard to deny that every Apple phone, for the most part, gets most stuff right. But there are some bugs, let me unlock it, that I found with my personal unit. So, again, for those of you who are just now experiencing iOS 18, I've played with the beta, but now you can customize any of your home screens to with the icons to be put anywhere. All you have to do is hold down on the front screen. You can, of course, put it in the wiggle mode, as some of you call it. 
move them around to get whatever design you want. Also, you can hit edit at the top, change the background look to make it, you know, as far as the um, pages are concerned, you can change the gradient, red, black with the icons. So again, different stuff there. Same with the control center. Like as you can see, this is not typically how it looks, but I did move these around here. Gonna go back and play with these more and kind of organize those the way I want it. But again, you do get a little more customization. However, it's, I have to bring it up. It's still not on the level of an Android phone and I'm gonna do a versus later on in the week. Also dropping that sec, um, second camera test on from the uh, Vegas trip, so stay tuned for that. But since I'm speaking on that Vegas trip, if, if you guys seen my camera video, you know that the camera recording on this phone is great. Like, there is no denying that whatsoever. But in this particular iOS, for me personally, I can't. I don't know if you guys have experienced this or not, but I have had issues. One, go watch my previous video, um, and you'll see the fact that when I was recording in 4K30, it would freeze. Some of the clips I had to change back to HD just because when I move it around, you can see the frames inside of the phone freeze. Like whatever I was aiming at, it froze within the phone, not moving around at all. So again, the only way that I found that I fixed that with is to put the phone basically from 4K to HD. I don't know why is that. Second thing, um, when I worked out at the and most of these tend to be software issues now. People get lag and bugs confused. Um, yes, this phone has bugs, but it's not lag. It's smooth without a fault. Like you could scroll through anything. Like it, the way you click in the anim. Let's see, I'm trying to do that. Click in the animations and close them back out, if you will. Like it's super smooth. You you won't have any problems with that whatsoever. But again, it has bugs. Now another bug that I personally found that has irritated me, if you will, would be, now, mm -hmm. as you see, I had huh, Siri talking and listening in the background. Let me click that off. But anyway, uh, one of the bugs that I've, <laughs> that's another bug too, Siri just listening for no reason. Do y'all find y'all scrolling Instagram and Facebook, random topic, but just finding stuff that happened in a, that you see that came from a conversation that you had or almost a thought sometimes. It's like stuff just pop up on your phone. It's like, I swear, I feel like we bugged or, these phones just know too much at this point. But anyway, back to the phone at hand. It, like I said, my music app, if you see here, I have two. I have one that I offloaded music with that, you know, songs that you may not be able to get from the Apple Store, like a, a lot of old boosted songs, things like that, mixtapes, whatever. But I loaded those on the side thanks to this USB-C port, finally. Um, but with my music, Apple Music app, when I was at the gym, I noticed that when I was skipping songs, at one point, it just completely, like, I had LTE, I cut the phone off, did the old hole, up, down, hole, if you will, like, the basic BS Apple is to tell you to do, like, and I'm not erasing my whole phone for a music app, I'm sorry, like, it just was in and out, and I'm sure maybe that might be fixed in the next song, but bugs like this, like, Apple has ample amount of time, like, y'all played with, like, seven or eight betas before y'all released this, like, and it still gets really like I didn't even have this some of these problems in the betas, which was crazy. So how y'all final release ends up being worse than the betas? That that's you know baffling to me. But again, back on a positive note, feels like it charges faster. That's one thing I've seen. Wireless charging is still smooth. If you have one of the stands, to just set it on MagSafe works perfectly. Set it up, turn it into a night clock. Always on display. Still. Looks good with the full screen. I don't use it too, too much, but here and there when I'm going out, I like to have it on. But again, that doesn't drain this phone to the point of where it's going to be dead in a day. Like, you'll still get a day plus easily out of this 16 Pro Max. Um, I'm not, I don't have a better drain test for you guys, but just take my word for it. The 14, 15 Pro Max, it's improved upon that. Now, another big interesting thing camera button i don't know if this has helped me or hurt me as you see i just clicked it and i'm like how freaking hard i'm trying not to curse but how hard can i mash it without it to make it open like i'm thinking it's supposed to be super quick but and i'm just being realistic with you guys like how quick is it to click that versus tapping your screen and just swiping over and i know i'm doing this from behind the camera so my swipe over ain't as hard as it could be but it's like all right clicking that clicking that and it just still get me to the lock screen anyway as you can see like 
Do I double tap it? Maybe I should start double tapping it. And it get, maybe that 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 might be the trick too. But I was told that I could just click it once and it gets there. But whatever. Of course, there are several different options with this. You can click, hold, record, video, blah blah blah, things like that. So it's pretty cool. I, I can't lie. Like the one thing about it I don't like is how much easier and you guys be the judge of this that's why i'm asking the question for me personally it's like all right my hands can almost be just as steady to tap the camera button there versus when i click that like my, your hand your body is like it's so hard to count maybe the button should have been lighter that's the best way i could put it because like i got pretty steady hands and like sometimes when you snap like it may move but see how i have it gripped super tight those shots might not move but for the average person just holding the thing and you're going to take it out your pocket to click, like it's going to have a jump. That's long story short. You're going to have like a some type of motion clicking that button. Now record. I do like the fact you can hold it down and record and then stop. That's pretty cool. Finally, also, iOS has gotten into where they can pause video recording. And so instead of having 15 different clips, you can kind of pause it and jump straight back in. Now, I haven't tested this as far as having my screen locked on. I did it pretty quick and it works. But when the screen go out, it's like, that's it. So again, unless you pause and keep the screen unlocked and then going back to it, I think it's going to stop your whole footage in general. So again, that's with a grain of salt. Don't take my word on that one. But, you know, that aside, um, still great build quality and all that. But let's get into a little bit more with this phone. Everybody know iPhones give you good batteries, good cameras. Cool. But. And let's talk about stuff that I don't feel like enough people talk about in, you know, reviews. Call quality. Call quality on this phone is good. I haven't found any issues throughout uh, my Bluetooth connection as far as on the phone, so to speak. Not going to talk about music. I'm talking about just strictly on the phone. Haven't had any drop calls or anything like that. Haven't had any. Let me unlock it from behind the camera. Face ID works good, but haven't had any, you know, hiccups with call quality. Now, one little annoyance that I, I have other iPhones in here, so anytime it's like near one, it feels like it just <laughs> has that vibration, feel like it wants to share a contact, and I'm like, I thought it did that already. I don't know, maybe because this is a new one, but it's like, I don't want that every time. And it's probably some way to turn it off. I'm, I know I'm more of an Android ecosystem than the, the Apple, but again, I don't really like that. And my AirDrop is off last I checked, so I think when AirDrop is off, it shouldn't do that. But... You know, it does it. I still, I like it and hate it at the same time. If I'm actually trying to get a contact, then cool. There's nothing to just like, all right, put the phone together. Got it done. Or videos, photos, same thing. Touch the phone, send whatever you want to send. So it's good, and but it needs a little bit of tweaking in my opinion. Um, also, I should be having the AirPods 4 come soon. I'll probably give you guys a video on that if y'all want to see that. But next topic, ecosystem. And we'll start with accessories. Apple is the king of accessories, hands down. Like, And it kind of ties into the ecosystem because there's so much you can get to companion this phone. Have the watch, which <laughs> Apple watches, they're kind of becoming, eh, just blah. You know, bigger screens, brighter displays. That's about it, really. But outside of that, you, you can't really go wrong with one. They do what they're supposed to do, plain and simple. Should they start coming down on them? Uh, yeah, this year, next year. Like, I think Apple needs to start dropping the prices on some of these watches. Screw the SC version. Like, just make y'all regular Apple watches $100 list. Because at this point, ain't nothing really changing or, you know, but Apple <laughs> rarely is a company to do that. But that's just me. That's, that's just me. Um, again, outside of accessories, uh, like, just cases and screen protectors, things like that. You also will find, like, just, I don't know, off-the-wall cases. Like, you can find, like, a whole tool case for this phone, like, with screwdrivers in it, like, hidden compartments. Of course, they all have the MagSafe. Um, you know, you can find these smooth mat bag hard. Like, every company, if they're a case company, is going to have a good case for an iPhone. That's how I feel. 99% of all case companies, I feel, is going to make it. If you don't make a case for no other phone, you're gonna make one for an iPhone. So there will be no shortage of cases whatsoever for this phone, whether you like slim, bulky, protective, not so protective, privacy screen, 360 privacy screen, like whatever you want with an accessory, you're gonna be able to find. And as well as the ecosystem, and again, like I showed you before, you have the watch, you have the AirPods. I lost a pair of AirPods in Vegas, but it is what it is. Um, 
have the home pods you have the apple wallet which again i like the apple wallet because you know for convenience purposes and sometimes you know you just forget your wallet or your id and good old wallet have it there same thing with passports you can also have those in your wallet when you're going through gates and stuff be able to scan so apple wallet is cool I, I can't complain about apple wallet that's a really dope feature now as far as some of the gimmicks like being able to look at your phone and scroll and things like that kind of seen it you know in interactions but it's not far from perfect it's far from something that i would actually use on this particular model so to speak um but outside of that like i said can't complain it's still an iphone you're still going to get a high quality phone you're going to get a fast phone you're going to get a phone most importantly that lasts most of the time not all the time but most of the time when you get yourself an iphone you take care of it keep the storage pretty decent then you're going to be good either way it goes now this is for the public the general public let me help you guys out on something real quick for those of you that may not know your iCloud and phone storage is not the same thing. And bear with me for I know all the techies out there know this and all the phone store workers know this, but I found I've come to find out that everybody who buys an iPhone that does not know this, like, well, what most people say is my storage almost full. I, should I get more storage? And then I all I do is and I know my phone is a little different, but all I only thing I really do is swipe down, type in SC, click on settings. Me, I was changing the wallpaper earlier, playing around with different stuff. But they go to their iCloud settings, then they'll see like five gigs, then they'll turn around. And I know I'm doing this from behind the camera. I'm not going to hold you guys very long without having something in view. I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm still a rookie at this, but y'all come to watch because y'all want the truth anyway. So y'all come and see here how out of 256 gigs i have 158 available and i'm talking about i have actual movies on here i like to have the fast and furious series like five six seven i think eight as well some whole dragon ball series like the whole freezer fight and other stuff like you're not going to run out of storage too fast if you get a pro match because it starts at 256 gigs now at the prices and the rate of everything not too bad but i feel like instead of 200 dollars, the 512 could have been 100 dollars more or you know apple for once y'all really could take a hint out of samsung book and do like a free storage upgrade if you pre-order you know just just something to you know show your fans or your loyal <laughs> following if you will because apple's like a young cult right now you know making two trillion dollars and over at least 80 percent of the population i feel like rocking them so you know apple it would be nice to throw somebody something they got rid of the stickers this year I, again i didn't really just do a full unboxing because i had a lot going on that day <laughs> y'all can go back and watch the store time but y'all got rid of the stickers apple like come on how cheap can y'all get i know we ain't use them but damn it's like they were still in the box so we kind of in the age, and I told you, I did a short on it. I might do another one. They're going to hand you a phone like that. Just, all right, uh, 1500 <laughs> Take it or leave it. 1500 1200 depending on the storage. But you're going to get this phone without a cable, without a box, without anything. And you'll be lucky to get this case on it. <laughs> Let me move this up because that vibration is horrifying me right now. And I'm in a good groove, so I don't feel like stopping my video. Um, now, some extra customization tips I would give Apple. And it's just me because I've seen it with jailbreaks that they could have done that they missed a golden opportunity on Apple. And I, they'll probably do it later. Just They got to do something every year because, again, at this point, it's like, all right, if you was to get this phone right now with a case on it, you couldn't tell me you wouldn't think this is a 15 Pro Max or whatever. You know, Of course, I know it's bigger because I had it too, but the average person walking down the street, they just glance at you. Looks like a 15 Pro Max, still like a 15 Pro Max, also a 14 Pro Max, 13 Pro Max. Like, it's hard to tell the difference at this point unless you actually own one and really into photography, you know, so. But people still going out and buying, but at some point, this will run its course, I feel like, just like Blackberry, but, you know. But let me talk about this feature that I wish Apple would have done. Apple, listen to me good. Like, the jailbreak community did this years ago. I was doing this on a 6 Plus <laughs> and up until I just the software got to couldn't jailbreak anymore. How about y'all make it to where you look at the lock screen 
for those, make it an option for those of us who don't really care to have a whole lot of notifications, check their notifications often, or just want to get straight into their phone. When they look at it, it just automatically unlocks. Is that too much to ask for? With their eyes open, double tapping the screen or clicking the power button, looking at the phone, it goes straight into it. Somebody make that happen in iOS 18.2, please, or 3. Like, this is the stuff I'm expecting. Like, Apple and... Let me get let me say the correct word. Artificial intelligence is cool having it on this phone, but that's the kind of stuff that would make it convenient for me. Um, outside of that, you know, there's a lot of little stuff that I just can't think of because I have not made a script for this video, but that's just one of the things. How about the transitions of these icons, this complete plain, you know, slide? Can be better. <laughs> if anybody jailbreaks, y'all know of a tweet called Cylinder where you can make these spin. Y'all can make them <laughs> do a cube style from page to page. Like, come on, Alpha. Y'all y'all have the power to do better. This is supposed to be the most powerful phone. The A18 that I'm still only being able to do this on. Like, unless you game on your phone, you really not. Because we long since reached the, the power of having you know, recording power like y'all, like Apple is well beyond that. They could actually shoot an AK, maybe 12K, honestly, but again, they got to give you these gradual increases and AK is going to be around forever. And when Apple does it, this groundbreaking technology known as AK and it's Apple K and <laughs> freak out of here. But anyways, I'm not ranting guys. I'm just being honest. Like I like iPhones. Don't get me wrong, but it's some stuff that they could still improve on. And I'm trying to name it for you. Connectivity. Don't really notice too many connectivity issues on this phone, like I said before, with uh, calls, but more than just calls with data and, you know, swiping between, you know, Instagram, Facebook. Speaking of which, let me go find my Instagram. I normally keep my main apps here. Let's see. Whatever you see is what you get. But again, go follow me on Instagram, JNJ <laughs> underscore tech underscore solutions. And, you know, this is Instagram, what it look like. Pretty cool, pretty cool scrolling speeds, but in my mind, I still feel like this is is only taking um, advantage of of ninety hertz instead of one hundred and twenty. Like you really have to like crank it up, and then the Wi Fi can. And I got like the fastest Wi Fi available at my ad, or even for this company by far. But another thing that people don't take advantage of because they don't give you the most powerful box and all that good stuff. But anyway, Instagram. You know, works just fine. All your social medias are going to work fine. This is the TikTok phone. So if you want your camera quality to look the same throughout the apps, then the iPhone is the best choice for you to go with. So, again, I appreciate that. So if you're using like a Z Fold or a Z Flip with your social medias, yeah, the photos will look nice, but they won't look as good or as clear, like completely like an iPhone because a lot of those apps and app developers work on stuff more when it comes to an iPhone. There's so many different Androids. I feel like all of Androids should consolidate with Samsung, but that just means it wouldn't be no competition at that point, then we wouldn't get half the things that Samsung has probably done. And Apple is its own, you know, they're not a part of Android, so they can they can take their time like this and give us small increments. But again, to the average, and it's, it might be me just talking from a tech voice, but for those of us who, you know, honestly do this on a daily basis like we ain't seeing no whole lot of change that's why people are starting to rock the pixel or because again even though that phone is not the greatest android phone in my opinion there are some changes they're making small changes now wide angle let's talk about the changes again that apple made another one the wide angle camera 48 megapixels it's cool like it's sharp it gets the job done i showed you guys a little one thing I like about Apple is the transition between lenses. Like, it's pretty smooth, especially when you're doing recording. Let me see if my little glitch acts up real quick, just to see. It's doing it right now, live for y'all. <laughs> like, that is crazy. I might have to take this phone and fucking... And it only does it in 4K. Like, I'm going to let y'all see it. I'm just going to hold the phone still. Now, watch this bullshit. Y'all see that? This is live during my video. So imagine me in Vegas, like certain clips that I can't, I couldn't really get for you guys because I had to wait for this to stop. So 
I'll give this like another two, two days because I'm, I'm back off work um, this upcoming week a little bit. So when I'm off again, I might just go ahead and either return this or have this exchange because I'm not dealing with that. I'm not waiting to no iOS 18.1 for that. If you and uh, if y'all watch my <laughs> unboxing slash video purchase with the, it's talking about the Apple Store, y'all seen how much hell I caught trying to get this. So Apple, like when I go to that store, is no fault of anybody's. I'm not gonna try to be rude or anything like that, but. When you get people telling, well, we can't do anything about it, and I feel like a customer sometimes because I, I work with customers, I get it. And from a rep standpoint, there are sometimes things that you can't do. But let me be clear. when <laughs> I'm going to tell y'all customers when to fight. If you're within your 14 day, uh, I don't care if you're on day 13 and a half, 14. If you're on day 14 and you're within your 14 day return period, your phone is not physically damaged and you are in fact under a year you can go to your cell phone carrier if you're under 14 or even the manufacturer and definitely if you're under a year go through the manufacturer in this case apple and raise all bunch of hell like you need another replacement like and especially in my case like when you drop in cash like i ain't do no installment on this that would be a bigger headache because, again, I'd have to pay either A, a restocking fee, or B, have to drive to Apple anyway to deal with an issue like this. So, again, I might set an appointment, deal with that. But y'all see it live, and I'll show the Apple people that, too. Like, <laughs> in, like they can watch the YouTube video themselves if they have to. But, you know, I'm, I'm just not sugarcoating nothing for Apple. And I try to keep the same energy with Samsung. But Apple, I have a special place in my heart with getting on Apple's head because they charge, I'm not going to say the most, but they're consistently referenced as the best phone by a lot of people. And I have to, you know, give my reasons why they're not. And, you know, sometimes Apple does win me over. This is the best phone to make videos off of, hands down, because number one, the recording is good when it works. And number two, the airdrop, like you can air, and that's also on a when it works basis because I found that airdrop has its moments like sometimes, and this is just me, but a lot of people don't call this stuff out. Y'all let me know if y'all had to deal with this. I could be sending an airdrop to my MacBook and sometimes the files could be like six gigabytes. Sends like that two minutes straight. Other times I could have like a two gigabyte size same 4k 30 whatever and it just takes forever like the airdrop is on like there's no there's nothing different that i've done from one video to the next but sometimes it's like somebody explain that to me in the comments why do the airdrops randomly take longer than others same thing when you send it to people sometimes you can drop 500 photos to somebody in a matter of seconds and everybody's on the same iOS. i don't want to hear that everybody's on the you know, a newer phone. It ain't all both 16 Pro Max, but let's just say if somebody had a 14 Pro Max, the other person had a 16 Pro Max. The airdrop should not be decreasing in speed like that. Is that that's just something I've noticed, you know, with Apple. But all in all, at the end of the day, this is still a great phone. Let's talk about this little action button up here. Now Apple's kind of contradicting with this because why y'all just didn't make this action button? Y'all little camera button, like it's right there. <laughs> it's literally, I know I'm covering the, but I guess you could, y'all make a way for us to do anything on y'all on y'all terms anyway. So why not just hold it up here, capture the moment. Even if you was doing a live, I think that's kind of a quick way to press versus shimmying down, if you will. Like I could shimmy down. And hold it straight. <laughs> I don't know, but they had to put they had to put something, guys. They had to put something. See that phone just won't stop trying to connect to something. You wouldn't connect to my Bluetooth earlier like that. You thought a home pause and move that over. Alrighty. But again, and I know y'all tired of me saying that. I'm not gonna go over too much more. There's not really more to go over. If y'all seen my 15 Pro Max video, this is me just you know. Tell them a little bit extra about that. I hope I've covered everything. It charges a little faster. Has a slightly bigger screen, which I appreciate, which they, you know, kind of kept similar body size. But I can always appreciate a sharper display. How about we take it up to uh, 4K next time? 
You know, how about we take these up to 8K? And then maybe, just maybe, i consider the 17 Pro Max to be a real upgrade, if that's what they call it. Charger speeds have improved, so I, I can't be mad at that, you know. There are phones out there that are, are a lot faster, but we're going to stick with this one. USB-C is still golden, even though Apple just did it last year. Still can appreciate that. If some of you guys are still using the knock on the back feature, hey, it's still a feature. It can be used. I don't really use it that much, but it's there. So I'm not going to downplay it like it's not there. Um, but outside of that, you're getting an iPhone. If you're, if you're used to an iPhone, you're getting another iPhone. There's not going to be night and day differences, especially right now, considering, you know, the Apple intelligence isn't here. But I'll do a follow-up video when that comes out. But as of right now, this is basically a 15S Pro Max, if you will. That's kind of like what these are coming into every year. The numbers need to stop changing. And they can start putting alphabets on the end of them again. Because, you know, and I, I gave my other phone the same treatment. You know, there are small upgrades. But, again, this is still a Z Flip, Z Fold 5, if you will, that's slightly spruced up. I just have to talk about all the features and I'm still going to do a versus between that and the flip. And I might do the S24 Ultra as well. So guys, I wanted to insert this into the video. I didn't talk about iMessage too much. But it's iMessage. I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm trying to make sure I cover everything. It's almost impossible to cover every single thing about a phone. But iMessage is iMessage. One thing I do like that Apple finally implemented is the ability to message with um, RCS messaging. So videos between, and I'll do a separate short or real, uh, whatever I decide to do, you know, showing you guys how to do that. But you can now go, and I'm not going into it, just not to blast anybody or show anybody. Maybe I can find one of those little unnecessary messages. Everybody still wishing me happy birthday. I'll go to this little Samsung text, no harm, no foul on that. But anyway, if you go to you know, type up something, you can see it pop up on the other phone, vice versa, you can see it here. You'll be able to get real receipts from Android. You'll be able to send high quality photos with, and especially videos without it being like super short inside of that little blurry box on Android. So that's what I can appreciate. So if you're texting your Android friends now, don't worry, like if you still grip the green bubble, then I guess you just color stroke or something. If you too insecure about, I don't know, feel like you elite because of a blue bubble, then have edit. But outside of that, now I'm going to finish ending the video. But guys, if you've made it to this point in, in this point in the video, I appreciate it. Um, continue to support me for those of you that have. I can't thank you guys enough. And again, I still am doing a giveaway as of right now. I'm trying to decide on what. Let me know in the comments. I got stuff I don't need. Home pods. Uh, if you guys like other stuff outside of that, like cologne, Versace, Gucci, stuff like that. Something I can just easily afford to give away that won't just completely break the bank. Y'all let me know in the comments section below. Because again, who don't like free stuff? But outside of that, I'm going to leave this video right here. The secondary camera video is coming soon after this one. And also my verses between the Z Fold, Z Flip, and S24 Ultra, if you will. Outside of that, go ahead and like this video, subscribe, comment, and share. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Deuces! S is born with less, but you still precious. Just smell for me now. Smile.